see it, it's making me crazy. It just keeps dripping like Yeah, that. I think it'll stop for a minute and then it just starts up again. And that will drive you crazy. Yeah. Gina Hickey's Tampa home was built 90 years ago. A true original. The faucet, not original. But if yours drips like this, it just needs some new parts. Boy, glad you're here. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks. And our handyman, Paul Schramm, is here to show us how to do that. All right. So you want to find the shutoff valve? The water needs to be turned off for obvious reasons. If the valve under the sink won't turn easily... You might want to turn the water off at the street instead of disrupting the valve. I'm going to open up my Allen wrenches here. That's what you'll need to remove the handle. That'll come right off. Now, it could be the cold water handle or the hot water handle that's causing the issue. We know here it's the hot water but the replacement cartridges we're using are only a few bucks. It might be best to replace them both. This cap nut here is what holds the valve down in place. Loosen that, remove the old cartridge, and be ready for a little excess water to leak out. Perfectly normal. Use pliers to find this. This is a rubber gasket, so if this, these two surfaces aren't perfect, the water's gonna leak no matter what. The gasket is worn down, and so is the cartridge. Also, there's a spring below everything. Use the kit and replace all three items. Spring, then gasket, then the valve. So we'll put the cap nut on, just like that. Put the handle back on, then test it out. Very simple fix. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. I told you we'd fix it. Yes, you did.